rise for the pledge. Absolutely. Here comes Tom. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this meeting to order at 7 o'clock. Roll call, please. Michael Cashman? Here. Martin Manick? Here. Angela Fays? Here. Robert Hubert? Here. James Coffey? Here. Rick Collins? And Tom Wood just walked in. Here. Uh, resolution 1684, uh, appro approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of March 25th, 2016 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? Dave? Is there a second? Second. Any next? Any discussion? Yeah, Mr. Supervisor. Yes. Um, can we just make a, a slight change to the executive session minutes? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, let me know. Yep. Uh, motion to go into executive session to discuss employment history of several individuals. Yep. Thank you. Uh, any other further discussion? Seeing none. Roll call. Thomas Woods? Yes. Martin Mannix? Yes. Frank Lefebvre? Yes. Barb Beaver? Yes. Mike Cashman? Yes. Carries. Resolution 1685 Abstract. <clears throat> Resolved that the abstract of honor to claims number 4A 16, 470 to 589. For $178,352.85, an abstract 4A 16, 128 to 148, prepays in the amount of $413,719.80, be received as reviewed by the Audit Committee and the Supervisor is hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Ebert, is there a second? Is there any discussion? Seeing none, uh, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manning? Yes. Mike Lefebvre? Yes. Martin Bieber? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. Uh, carries. <coughs> Resolution 1686, disposal of obsolete computers and equipment. As the Town of Pottsburg Tech Committee has determined that the following list of computers and equipment should be disposed of as they are obsolete and have no residual value. Whereas the hard drives have been removed and the equipment will be turned over to the superintendent of building and grounds for disposal. Now therefore be resolved that the town board is hereby authorized the disposal of set computers and equipment and that a copy of this resolution be given to finance manager and superintendent of building and grounds. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Annex. Is there any discussion? Well, some that, since we're identifying them all specifically, that <clears throat> when we look at our overall thing for audit, we're taking them off of our inventory. For yeah, the inventory will be identified correctly. Yep. That's why if you look at the certain with the service tag I see. Um, or identification with the serial numbers. And Michael, this may have come up before in our previous meeting before I joined. <coughs> yeah. So the hard drive, are they scrubbed before they, they leave the... They're going to go through the process uh, depending on how the situation is working with StoreTech, okay. uh, with ART, and also with Broughton. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and where appropriate things are reused in other computers if okay. things are dismantled. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seeing no further conversation, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Warren Manning? Yes. Mike Lefebvre? Yes. Barb Hebert? Yes. Mike Cash. Yes. Carries. Resolution 1687. Letter as a uh, resignation from Ms. King. Whereas Ms. Sharon King joined the town of Fosford staff in July of 1983 and has held several positions within the town. Whereas Ms. King has submitted a letter of resignation and retirement from the town of Fosford effective December 31st, 2016. Now therefore be resolved, the supervisor send a letter of congratulations on behalf of the town board thanking Mrs. King for her dedication of service to the town. 
And you further resolve that the town board does here wish to thank her for her years of service and wish Miss King well in her future endeavors. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager and a copy be placed in her personnel file. Is there a motion? So moved. Okay. Is there a second? Second. <coughs> Is there any discussion? That's going to be the next day. It's the, uh, her last day on payroll uh, or in the office, I should say, is anticipated for July 15th, uh, 2016, but her retirement date is December 31st. Uh, we will be working through some final details for the personnel committee to make sure that all is aligned, but as she's currently submitting it, so we want to have the resolution on record, um, and then we'll work through the personnel committee and then also the finance department. Yep. She's been working here almost as long as I've been alive. Yeah. Such a long I, ha I have to I have to give Sharon a lot of credit. Um, she is working very diligent to uh, help Brian prepare for the transition. Uh, she has a lot of institutional memory, um, and she, she's just working incredibly hard to make sure that when she leaves, um, the town retains as much of that you know knowledge that's up in her head, not necessarily just in documents. So I really do appreciate her extra efforts there. All right, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Bannon? Yes. Mike Lefebvre? Yes. Barb Hebert? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. Carries. Um, I know your thing is clicking again, and we don't have uh, Ted from WNBZ here, so it doesn't seem to be his no. equipment that's interfering with ours, which is good to know, but we may want to look into that. That clicking can kind of drive us a little, a little daddy. All right, jumping into resolution 1688, agreement of consulting firm to represent the town in labor relations and negotiations. Whereas the current <coughs> negotiated labor agreements between the town of Plattsburgh and the town employees will expire December 31st, 2016. And it is necessary to negotiate a new agreement between the town and its employees. Whereas the firm of Stafford, Owen, Pillar, Renee, Kelleher, and Trombley, PLCC, and the in Plattsburgh, New York, has appropriate training, expertise, and knowledge to provide consulting service to the town. And the town board wishes to secure a service to represent the town and their, neg and their negotiation and labor relations. Whereas the town has received a proposed retainer agreement from Stafford, Owen, Pillar, Murnane, Kelleher, and Trombley, PLLC, a copy to which is attached hereto and made thereof. Therefore, it be resolved the supervisor on behalf of the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board enter into this agreement with the firm of Stafford Owens, Pillar, Renee, Kelleher, Trombley, PLLC, to represent the town in its labor negotiations with its employees, as set forth in the proposed agreement. And it is further resolved that after review by the town attorney, the town board approve said agreement in its entirety, and the supervisor be authorized to sign said agreement and to make disbursement from the general fund for the town for the services. And it be further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Mannix, is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Mannix? Yes. Mike Lafayette? Yes. Barb Heber? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes, carries. Uh, I do just want to put a footnote on that and say that uh, I'll be signing that as soon as possible after council looks at it so we can try to begin the labor uh, negotiations sooner rather than later. So. Well, there's been some changes. Yeah. Uh, 1689, <coughs> committee appointment for the micro enterprise. As the town board was awarded the CFA 2015 CDBG grant micro enterprise grant, whereas a supervisor would like to form a micro enterprise committee for the purpose of selecting the consultant from the RFPs assisted with the education, educating the public on the opportunities related to the grant and partaking in the process of review, selection, and award of the monies. <coughs> Excuse me. Whereas the following members of the community possess the skills, expertise, and are willing to serve as a member on the micro enterprise committee. 
Hope Boyer, Jason Barrett, Stearns, and Christy Kennedy. And to be resolved that the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board does hereby appoint them to the Microenterprise Committee effective immediately. And be further resolved that each committee member shall take the oath of office within the 30 days of this resolution. Is there a motion? Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, next. Any discussion? I will add that I've had conversations with each of these individuals. Um, like we said before, uh, they're going to help review the RFP for the process, uh, but also be part of the process to help do the selection and the, the uh, grant awarding. Um, I really do think that these three individuals um, have a solid understanding of not only business, but what our community needs are, and very appreciative of uh, <coughs> spending some time on this committee. Should we need to add some additional members in the future, we can certainly do that, um, but I'd like to get something started. Um, the RFPs um, review will need to start sooner rather than later, so uh, appreciate you know, your uh, consideration of these individuals. Any other comments? Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manick? Yes. Meg Lefebvre? Yes. Barb Fever? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. Carries and passes. All right. Proclamation 16, resolution number associated is 1690. And it's the proclamation of recognition of the SUNY Plattsburgh Cardinals women's hockey team. Whereas on Saturday, March 19, 2016, the SUNY Plattsburgh Cardinals women hockey team defeated the University of Wisconsin River Falls in the NCAA Division III Women's Hockey Ice Championship Final at the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Arena in Plattsburgh, New York. Whereas this championship win makes it a three-peat the Plattsburgh State Women's Hockey Program has secured their place in history as the dynasty, as only the second program, Division Three, to do so. The Cardinals close out the year with a 19-1-0 record, their best record in history program. This is a total, is, is also the most of any a NCAA Division Three women's ice hockey program in a single season. <coughs> Excuse me. Perhaps the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board would like to acknowledge this. Victory marked the Cardinals' fifth national championship in the program history, adding to the titles won 2015, 2014, 2008, and 2007. Whereas these dedicated women have been coached by Mr. Kevin Houle, who has been named the AHCA Division III Women's Ice Hockey Coach of the Year and assistant coach Daniel Blanchard, <clears throat> who installed in the team the qualities and skills necessary to foster this level of achievement in ath athletics and their social and emotional well-being. Whereas the Town Plattsburgh Board wishes to recognize the hard work and the dedication of all the members of the team, their coaching staff, and their families. And whereas the women's Cardinal hockey team, as well as SUNY Plattsburgh, is at a point of pride of the citizens of the greater Plattsburgh region. And be it resolved that the town board declares that the Plattsburgh State Cardinal women's hockey team be recognized for their accomplishment in capturing the NCAA Division III Women's Ice Hockey Championship. And it be further resolved that the town board encourages our community and its local businesses to demonstrate their support for the members of the team and their coaching staff in recognition of their achievement and their work as good ambassadors for SUNY Plattsburgh and the Adirondack Coast in the state of New York. Is there a motion? So moved. Okay. Is there a second? Second. And I'd like to just correct one thing. If they won t 29 games, not 19. <laughs> 29 games. Yep. 29, 29 and 1. Because they won 28 games another year. Um, any further discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Manick? Yes. Meg Lefebvre? Yes. Barb Beaver? Yes. And Mike Cashman? Yes.
proclamation passes. And just so everybody knows, this proclamation will be presented during a ceremony at the Ronald B. Stafford Arena tomorrow night um, at a ceremony that the college is hosting for the team. So. Are you going to present it? Yes. Cool. Yes. Um, before, what time is that? I will look at my calendar. Actually, it should be in the paper. The time that we chat? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it starts at uh, 6. It won't really start at 6. It's going to probably start about 6.15. Mm -hmm. But people are told to get there by 6. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, before I make a, a, seek a motion to adjourn, I do want to remind people that this Thursday at 6 p.m. we will be having a public hearing as it relates to the NYSEG natural gas franchise phase two expansion. So uh, please make sure to inform your friends and neighbors. I uh, greatly appreciate it on that. So that's, that's this Friday? This Thursday. This Thursday? This Thursday? At 6 p.m. Yep. Is there a motion to adjourn? Is that here? It is. So. Is there a second? Any discussion? Uh, seeing none, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Brian Manor? Yes. Meg Lefebvre? Yes. Barbara Huber? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. And I will adjourn this meeting at 7.16.